Welcome to another episode of uh, Jay Leno's Garage. We're going to talk about something I thought had been uh, lost to time and history, never to be seen again, uh, Cocoa Maps. Now, if you don't know what those are, when I worked at a Mercedes dealership back in the late 60s and early 70s, Foreign Motors of Boston, people come in, they'd buy their 6.9, their 6.3 Mercedes, or 356 Porsche or whatever, and you could get the black floor mats, or you could go for the cocoa mat. And it was always seemed very exotic. The Europeans had cocoa mats. We Americans always had these dopey kind of black mats that had Ford or Chevy or something. But cocoa mats always seemed very exotic. And all the people that bought Mercedes or uh, Porsches or Jaguars or any of those things, they liked the cocoa mats, especially in the winter with snow and rain. But what is a cocoa mat? Well, we're going to show you right now. Let's bring in Drew. Drew, you're president of the, what's the official name of the company? CocoaMats.com. CocoaMats.com. Right, right. And you're the president and you're making these things again. That's right. Now, what a cocoa mat is. I'm not sure where cocoa comes from. Right, right. And, and what, are the, what is the actual fabric here? Well, that's is actually one hemp? of, that's such <laughs> no, it's not him, but uh, it's pretty much uh, close to it. Cocoa, coconut fiber, is actually made from the husk of the coconut. Okay. So what they do is they take the husk, they pull them off, they soak them in lagoons for about a year, and then spin them into a yarn, dye with all natural dyes, and then put onto a loom, and we design all the colors to go with them. Well, these are kind of fun. These are the actual ads I remember, mm -hmm. and this is the one we used to sell for, is that Mercedes? No, that's Porsche. Mm -hmm. That's Porsche. Where's the Mercedes one? Oh, they're all Porsche. original uh, Mercedes yeah. uh, catalog, they're showing them as, uh, as an option. Let's see here. There's the uh, thing right there, Mercedes-Benz. Okay. Or if that helps, like that. Yeah. And then uh, right here shows in German the Coco Matten. Coco Matten, yeah. Yeah. yeah the Coco Matten, yeah. <laughs> Get into Coco Matten, yeah. Right, right. Everything from the 180Ds, 220s, uh, 220SEs, all the way to 300SL Gold. Do you Lane. sell these in Germany as well? Yeah, actually, do a lot of business everywhere from Germany, Europe, Dubai, Saudi Arabia, everywhere. There you go. So if the Germans are buying them, that's pretty good. Can't be too bad, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. So. <laughs> And look how much they were back in 1966, 67, 8.95 a set. Ooh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> a little more than that now. Right, right, just a little. But uh, Han, this was a this was a big uh, a distributor. This was here in California. That's right, right. That's right. Exactly. In and fact, they were... when I first came to L.A., I would always see their ad, and I ran out to the fa I ran out to their store. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of cool. That's great. But as you see, they come in all different sizes and colors. Yep. And of course, the great advantage is in wintertime with snow and rain and mm -hmm. all that stuff, it would, uh, I guess, what, absorb it or? Yeah, well, basically, the original Cocos were designed on, uh, here, I'll show you. The uh, original Cocos were a lot like this, which was basically an unbacked piece of coconut fiber that was see through. and. The design was that the dirt would shift from the top of the mat down to the bottom floors. Right. Pick these up. The original cars had rubber mats or right. rubber floors. Sweep out the mats, put them back in. You're good right. to go. Now, um, once everything started going to carpeted floors, uh, there was kind of a need for something else. So, what we did is we actually went ahead and started doing a rubber backing. So okay. this uses an all-natural rubber nibbed backing that helps keep them in place. Also keeps any kind of spills from getting down to your carpet kit and. They look yeah, nice that's right. Time. That's right. As I remember, most cars didn't have a carpeting on the floor, mm -hmm. so you'd put these on. That's why it was. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, very cool. And obviously, they come in every conceivable color. Yeah, that's right. We also do, uh, other than just cocoa, we do uh, sisal, which comes from the agave plant, same plant that gives us tequila. Okay. And uh, this is actually a new line that we're carrying here, which is uh, seagrass. So this is actually made from seaweed that's woven and uh, put into mats. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that'll keep you from driving barefoot. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> or you can put some salt down, exfoliate your feet. You'll be yeah, good. very good, very yeah. good. Yeah, but I, I just like the feel and the look of them. And for me, it's just the whole nostalgia thing. This is what I chose for my uh, 356 Porsche. As you can see, they fit perfectly because uh, obviously they're made specific. They're not one size fits all. No, not at all. Every mat that we do is custom made for every single customer. So whether they want a black and red, black and blue, black mm -hmm. and yellow, they want red binding, yellow binding, binding, whatever it is, we can custom make it. And what is this hole for here? Is that a hook? To that's, that's actually one example of, uh, for a lot of cars now have the grommets, you know, right. like uh, the Toyota Prius, cars like that. So we'll actually go ahead and install grommets on the mat to fit those factory uh, locations. Right, to keep the mat from shifting. Exactly, obviously, exactly. Obviously. And these are all, is this leather or vinyl? This is actually a leather-like 
vinyl. It's really heavy duty, and we do it in different complementing colors to so all complement the different colors of the cocoa mats that we do. Um, and they match the heel pad as well. So whenever we do a mat, black mat, black heel pad, black binding. Same thing goes with tan, brown, whatever else. And how much do these mats cost? A two-piece set is one thirty-nine ninety-five. Okay. And then we ship them for fifteen fifty. So a total for a two-piece set would be one fifty-five forty-five. Oh, very cool. And obviously, you make it with a. The driver's side has the yeah the heel pad. That's actually, the heel pad is pretty interesting. Um, the heel pad design we actually got from a '66 Ferrari 275 GTS, and uh, one of our clients had an original one right. and was kind enough to let us uh, actually take the heel pad off, send it to our factory, and use that as kind of like a basis for our design. Um, and then uh, what we do is we actually press the area where the heel pad goes in with mm -hmm. a hydraulic press, about 40 tons of pressure. Right. Pushes all the fibers down, we glue that down, then we put the heel pad down, stitch it twice, and all that's just to make sure the heel pad sits as flush with the rest of the mat as possible. And I gotta admit, they do last forever. I, yeah. I've seen Mercedes that have had these in for 10 or 15 years. Right. And it isn't like a regular pad where you get that. The big hole with it. Right, where, where your heel heel's sitting down, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. And obviously, every conceivable, <laughs> I'm not even sure how you would decide how to. Uh, what color is best? Well, one thing that we, we're happy to do with all of our clients, and we do most of the time, is actually send samples of our product to them. I see. You know, tough, tough with looking at the, web, at the web and pictures online, you really can't get a feel of what it's going to look like in your car. Yeah, I remember in the winter, as I said yeah. before, people really liked these because it was uh, the snow and the ice and everything. Yep. It was just sort of. Filter down to yeah, the bottom. Down to the bottom, yeah. and then you just pick it up and you and you uh, and you clean it up. Yeah, and you're very, not going to cool. see the best thing is that you know, regular mats you get in a car, you get into your nice Mercedes Benz, and you look down at those stark black mats, and you see every little pebble and everything. Right. So what these do is really does a good job at all that dirt filters down from the top of the mat down to the rubber. When it comes time to clean, you pick them out, yeah. beat them on the floor, and you're back in business. My 356 has uh, is all black inside, so it gives a little bit of color, a little bit of red. Yeah. Also, they work in uh, the Gullwing Mercedes. My 55 Gullwing. As well. Yeah, same beautiful thing, car. Same thing. Very, very cool. Let's see. Now, how do people get in touch with you? Uh, best way to reach us is uh, through either our website, which is www.cocomats.com, and then uh, you can always call me. I'm the one that picks up the phone, so it'll be 800 461 3533. And how's business going these days? Pretty business good? is great. Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, we've, we've had a big rebound, um, you know, with the market and the economy, but we're doing great and uh, trying to stick with making an all-natural, eco-friendly product for everyone. Right, right. Very cool. I guess it is eco-friendly, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's coconuts and... Coconuts, or, yeah. cactus, agave, yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah. Very, very cool. Very, Definitely. very cool. Well, nicely, nicely done. As you can see, it is a high-quality mat. It's pretty thick, too. It's mm -hmm. not some little... You know, eighth inch uh, deal there, and you got the rubber on the back. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. And we hand make every single one of them in Fort Mill, South Carolina. It's Is that a right? So family it's... business, myself, my brother, my sister, my two little nieces come in on the weekend to help out. And yeah. uh, I think that's called child labor. So you're picking up some of the <laughs> some of the Chinese thing. We got seven and eight year old kids working. There like this. Yeah, well, we want to keep that on the on the deal yeah, on that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but again, that's that's why he's here because it's an American made product. For European cars, which is what we like to see. We like to help companies here in America using American labor and American <laughs> technology. Yep. And uh, very, very cool. Drew, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.